Hi everyone, due to some circumstances, I'm gonna be the voice in today's video. Thanks for your understanding. Seven Sins in January 2017, the largest yacht of the Italian shipbuilding company San Lorenzo was launched. The 52-meter yacht was named Seven Sins. It has five cabins for 10 guests and is serviced by 11 crew members. Seven Sins has a unique functionality that no other yacht of this size range can offer, according to the project team. This yacht has even won the World Super Yacht Award 2018, the most famous super yacht competition in the world. Seven Sins has several seating areas, a huge bar, an open kitchen, and a barbecue on the deck. The spacious lounge area makes the deck space ideal for entertainment and relaxation. On the bridge deck, there is a dining area for all fresco dining. Officina Italiana Design has planned the lounges so that guests can enjoy the views through the huge windows. There is also a beach club. It includes a swimming pool with a glass bottom, a gym, and a sauna. The manufacturer asked $34 million for Seven Sins. Kalila. Each element of this yacht, created at the American shipyard Palmer Johnson, is unique. Kalila was launched on July 25, 2014, with five guest cabins for up to 11 guests. Apart from guests, the yacht accommodates nine crew members. The nose of the yacht is unusually striking at first sight with its backward slope and pointed bulb. The hull, as well as the wings and deck structure, were created at the Norwegian shipyard Broadrenna and then sent to the Palmer Johnson shipyard to complete the project. The designers worked hard to ensure that each curve of the golden hull looks elegant and gives the yacht a spectacular appearance. It is noteworthy that the hull was made of a strong and lightweight carbon composite which hasn't been used for this purpose before. The interior designers managed to achieve uniqueness of the interior by using a bright color palette as well as a variety of diverse and exquisite fabrics. Each room is decorated with paintings that are real works of art. The floor-to-ceiling windows will allow you to enjoy the beautiful views. The aft deck area is 110 square meters with a jacuzzi, a bar, lounge rooms, a kitchen, and a two-star Michelin-trained chef. Today, any wealthy person can spend time at Kalila. If you want this yacht for a week, you have to pay approximately $280,000. The cost of the yacht itself is estimated at approximately $40 million. Martha Ann at the time of construction of this vessel, it was already known that it was not intended for any particular owner, but would be a charter vessel. That is why it was equipped with spacious suites and seven guest cabins, three of which are VIP. In the garage room, there is a limousine tender by Royal Denship Company, as well as a semi-rigid inflatable boat, Nautica, so you can fish or go water skiing. Guests do not have to use the stairs to move between the four decks, as there is an elevator with a transport hull. A gym and a home theater with panoramic images provides increased comfort. A week on the ship will cost from $574 to $588,000, depending on the season. The estimated value of Martha Ann is $70 million. Venus. 
During his lifetime, Steve Jobs was always a fan of minimalism, which came from his Zen devotion to simplicity. So it's no surprise that the yacht he ordered was a minimalist one. The hull of the Venus yacht consists of extremely simple and straight lines, which gives it a touch of elegance. The construction of the super yacht lasted for about seven years. Most of the time was spent on the coordination of small details. Steve Jobs, along with the world-famous designer Philip Stark, has meticulously polished every single detail of the yacht to perfection. Unfortunately, he was never able to take a ride on Venus. It was launched on October 28, 2012, a year after the death of the businessman. However, the entire Jobs family was present at the event to mark the completion of the yacht, his widow and their three children. Details in aluminum and steel give the yacht a futuristic look. Venus is lightweight and is considered very maneuverable. There is little information about the interior decoration. It is known that the captain's bridge is equipped with seven IMAX and the design is very Apple-like. It is rumored that the walls in the living area are made of special glass blocks, which provide a full 360 degree view. More than 100 million euros were spent on creating Venus and the estimated total cost of this vessel is 130 million dollars. Ulysses. This super yacht has a total of 15 suites aboard and can accommodate up to 30 guests. There are also 22 cabins for 42 crew members. It is noteworthy that the owner's suite has a separate deck. Two elevators will help the guests and the crew to move between decks, one for 13 people and the other one for 8 people. Ulysses was built by Norwegian shipyard Kleven. Immediately after the ship was completed, it was delivered to New Zealand billionaire Graeme Hart in March 2016. For some reason, already in July 2016, this 107-meter Explorer yacht was offered for sale for $200 million. Perhaps the most important feature of Ulysses is that it is equipped with a large 21-meter long catamaran tender which can be easily accelerated up to 50 knots. Other features include 8 dining areas open and closed, 5 bars, and a theater with a professional audio system. There is a heated swimming pool with an area of 5 by 11 meters, a spa, a massage room, a beauty salon, a fitness center, and beach clubs. Eclipse The yacht you see on the screen was built on commission for Russian businessman Roman Abramovich. It was designed by Atabeki Design Development. The exterior styling and interior design were done by specialists from Terence Disdale Design Limited. On June 12, 2009, the yacht was launched for the first time, but it was only delivered over to the customer on December 9, 2010. All this time, the yacht was undergoing refinement and steam trials. The length of the vessel is 162.5 meters and its width is 21.5 meters. We wanted to specify that because, at the time of its launch, Eclipse was the largest private ship in the world. The crew of the yacht is 70 people and the inside of the yacht can accommodate 36 guests at a time. As the vessel is private, not much is known about the interior decoration and equipment. Standard yachts of this class are almost always equipped with jet skis, tenders and boats, so we can assume that they are available on Eclipse too. It is also known that inside the yacht there is a concert hall, three canteens, a cinema, and a wine cellar. It is noteworthy that Eclipse has two swimming pools, one of which can be turned into a dance floor. Experts estimate that about $300 million has been spent on the construction of the yacht. The cost of the Eclipse, together with its impressive amount of internal equipment, is estimated at $1.2 billion. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.